So, what's the big deal about choice? You hear it floating around in memes and discussion groups on the internet, and you may have even said it yourself. Happiness is a choice. I'm always needing to correct that oversimplified grammar by insisting, well, choice itself is not happiness. You choose to be happy and then proceed from there. Much better. I've heard many folks say, well, it's just not that simple. Sometimes making a choice to be happy is just not available, or so unrealistic that it's unobtainable. Yes, there's that. But I would like to remind these folks that the quantum universe within which we live and have our being exists solely and simply because of choices. Quantum physicists refer to the strange motions and transformations of quantum particle waves as making choices as to which way they go upon observation or what forms they take instantaneously over vast distances. There seems to be a sort of meta-intelligence driving it all, and scientists supply that awareness to quantum particle states. This is because quantum particles, or waves, instantly respond to human consciousness, as though that observing consciousness is being observed by another observing consciousness. So it's difficult to call what quantum particles and waves are doing anything other than intelligent. Hence, the entire physical world is in a constant state of choosing what to be, where to be it, and how to get there. And we either consciously participate in that choosing or not. So a better retort to the happiness is a choice meme is, why do there appear to be limited choices or no choices at all? Ultimately, I believe it boils down to judgments and conclusions. Judgments and conclusions are what make up our belief systems. What we accept is true and what we accept is false. When we conclude, like the Bruce Hornsby song, that's just the way it is, there's just no wiggle room for any choices. Hornsby, mercifully, tags that hook with, but don't you believe it, opening the door for new possibilities and new choices. Choice creates new awarenesses, and these new awarenesses make possible more choices, until literally all the possibilities of life are available. So the trick is to first spot where you've made a conclusion about a situation, condition, or predicament, and just ask, what can change here? Sit with that question until you begin to get a download of quantum particles and waves drawn to you because of the question. These quantum intelligences are all about change, so when you start asking about it, they're right there with you, all ready to give you that vital information. Then, it's just a matter of choosing what to do next. The choice you make is usually the one that feels the lightest or excites and inspires you. As you proceed taking action from that choice, keep asking, what else can change here? Or, how does it get any better? Or, simply feel gratitude for the infinite possibilities of life. And soon, things will really begin to open up, all because you just asked a question. In many cultures around this time of year, it's customary to renew family ties, exchange gifts, and in most cases, relive childhood issues with parents and siblings. What if it could be different? How could it be different? This year, try asking those questions. Who knows what wonderfulness could be in store? You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.